Correct. And Logan Gay is so excited to be down there that she joins us live from the marathon start line. Logan, how's it looking down there? Hey, Ellison, that's right. I'm here near the starting line and let me tell you, it's looking good. So we are officially 54 minutes and 47 seconds away from the big day tomorrow, according to the racing website. Now I was here at the same exact spot hours ago while crews were putting up the scaffolding and it looks like they got the job done just in time for the big day. Downtown Indianapolis was buzzing with excitement as crews prepare for the 500 festival mini marathon. Doesn't get better than May in Indianapolis. More than 20,000 people participating in the race will take over streets across the city Saturday and Hoosiers say they're ready. So it's always really exciting to see the city busy. I love seeing everyone come in and get to do fun things. Um, so yeah, it's just really exciting to see us back and ready to go. After 47 years of racing tradition, most Hoosiers have their plans down pat for how to avoid the traffic near the Marriott and the start and finish line. And so I worked downtown. I took an Uber today just so I wouldn't have to deal with it because I knew we were going to be setting up. If you're planning to be out on Saturday, here's what you need to know. The mini marathon attracts people from all 50 states. Traffic was backed up as many of them checked into their hotels. Matt Lane and Tristan Self are two of them. First place right here. <laughs> They're here all the way from East Tennessee and say they'll definitely be back. So far, so good. Uh, Indy's a cool town. I think so. If you miss packet pickup at the convention center today, there is no day of pickup on race day. And while it's hard to miss the huge starting line along Washington Street, plenty of people plan to see it through their TV screens right here on Channel 13. I'm definitely not going to come out in the madness. Um, I have two or three friends running in it, so I'll be cheering them on from inside. Again, if you're running in the race, the first wave takes off at 730 AM, but make sure you leave your house early to make time for parking and any last minute activities. Now the post race party is at Military Park from 7 to 2. Allison. Let's take a closer look at the route for the Indy Mini. It starts in front of the Indiana State Museum. Runners will make their way to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, take a lap on the famous oval, then heading back, finishing at Military Park. If you're driving downtown and not running, remember, there will be a lot of closures. We've got this posted online. You can watch the Indy Mini here on Channel 13. Our live coverage begins at 6 o'clock Saturday morning.